Before the queen was to give birth, she left. All she took was a single, unfinished painting. When the king woke, he found no explanation, and he never did. didn't paint a thing. Then he had a vision, a colossal monument of himself that would be his legacy for the ages. But he hadn't even finished painting the scale model, which was over 100 feet tall itself, when his powers began to fail. never finished another painting. Then one night he went to sleep and couldn't even finish his own dream. And he's been trapped inside it ever since. Monroe stood there trying to think of something to say. The statue shut and the hatch slammed shut. And now there was no more need for talking. The king was awake.
Ah, it's you, the boy from my dream. What a strange dream it was. My life's work was being destroyed, and all I could do was watch. Come, sit here by the fire. It all began right there, in the house I grew up in. I heard a heavy knocking at the door, just like on the night I left. I opened the door, but there was nothing there, just white space. Some miscreant had painted everything. My garden was ruined. And then my statue spoke and said, Help me! Some little hooligan is running around splattering everything in the garden. I think he's headed for the... <laughs> Some have got it by mouth. Oh, dear. I saw my unfinished labyrinth, abandoned and forgotten. And then the credits appeared. Your dreams have credits? Oh yes, and subtitles. beautiful city, strangled by those disgusting vines. I built it to stand a hundred lifetimes, and instead, it'll be buried in one, a monument for weeds. full of people, like the old days. It smelled like roasted goose. For a moment, I was happy. <laughs> then suddenly, I was alone again. The world had become cold and dark. I felt my own death rising up around me. floated past chunks of the house I built, or started building. Scarcely ten years later, and the whole thing was in ruins. My works were meant to last forever, but most of them will be gone before I am. I was at a funeral. My own, as it turned out. No one was there. Except you.
I saw my monument, my last hope of leaving something that would live on after me, and I began to walk towards it. And with each step I took, I got larger. I just kept growing and growing like a teenager. With a gentle push, my body crumbled and sank. I saw my life's work laid out in front of me. Soon, it would crumble into dust or be painted over by someone who would come after me, the same way I painted over what was here before me. When the universe ended, I knew that everything I'd made was over. And as I sat there, looking out into the darkness, I thought back on all the things I'd built and left unfinished. I realized something. I wasn't sad that it was all gone. I had fun making all that stuff. I would have done it anyway. And then somehow I knew that when I woke up, all my work really would be destroyed. And that's when you showed up. I don't know how you got here, but I'm glad to see you. I have something for you. This brush isn't mine anymore. My work is over. It belongs to you now. I hope it makes you happy and that someday they will say, he is a better man than his father. That door will take you anywhere you want to go, but leave quickly, child. None of this will last for long. And that night, even though he was very tired, Monroe did something that would have made his mother very happy. He painted. <laughs>